here's the probes be Randy and then we had the end part out he's fixing to do some grinding here yeah and safety first Legendary and new goes on and yeah. Okay guys, as you can see it's it's 428 in the morning, Saturday, April 8th, and uh yeah, we fell asleep. We've been to bed, but I got up. I had an epiphany, if you will, and I got up, and I've been working on the NPAR, on the probe. And what we're doing on the probe, what I found was, whoa, Omaha, whoa, come and dog out here. Whoa, you're fine. You're all right. What I found was uh, that some of my tubing um, for the pressure switch for the NPAR, actually, uh, became dislodged or moved, in other words. Now, the way this is set up, and, and I need to be careful here, but the way it's set up is we have, you, you, you have four inputs and one, one output, if you will. So, so each one of the, in, the pressure ports is an input on the outside of the probe, and then we have one output coming to the end part. There's a $10,000, $9,600, almost $10,000 pressure switch inside. And, uh, of course, it, it, it records P waves, blah, blah, blah. You guys get my point. Uh, but what we're doing here is we're engineering a different layout, if you will. Um, as you guys know, most of you know, I'm I'm an engineer by, by trade. And... So I fix shit, um, and 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 I'm I'm always working and tinkering and fixing shit. So, so what we're doing here is we're fixing uh, a little bit of the problems that we've been having. So that's where we're at. There we go. We're gonna try to put this heat sink on as best we can dang it and all we're doing here there we go all we're doing here is we've actually mounted this in a case so that it can go inside of the cyclops inside of the probe his probe um, just like mine but it's going to take up substantially less room because we don't we Randy's Randy's just worried about the pressure perturbations. That's all we want to want to really worry about. All right, so we need to skip one lead here, and then our ground goes out because it's a three volts out. See what we're trying to do is get this in there, just like that. Last thing you want is a cold solder joint, but you don't want to burn the board either. So that's what we're trying, attempting not to do is to to burn the board. So we've got our, our negative and our positive leads on there, good. All right guys, we're trying to write some code here is what we're trying to do. And uh, what we're trying, attempting to do, right, let's see if it reboots. All right, it is rebooting, so we are in lock. You guys can tell I got I got bags under my eyes, and I'm just I'm just been trying to write code for Randy so that we can get his unit set up correctly. And uh, I'm I'm running in some trouble, but this is what happens. Um, it's science. And, you know, a lot of people don't quite understand the, the concept of a, a, a private sci science um, in this application. So, you know, we have to do it on our own, man. I mean, it is what it is. So, All right, guys, we're out here in the garage, and we're working on the probe itself on the NPAR. And what we're doing is we're adding another pressure port 
to simply go directly. We're going to try to feed pressure to the uh, or close to the pressure switch itself, not the in-par switch pressure switch uh, where we receive P waves, but uh, the actual pressure switch itself. So that's what we're doing uh, right now. We got Randy's computer set up. Um, I've written the code and got all that taken care of. Pat, uh, Pat Wynn, actually uh, another member of the Packertex team, got that set up. So we're trying to drill another hole to put a fitting in. Um, I'll show you the fitting. So this is the fitting that we're we're this is the fitting that we're going to try to put in. And I don't know how well you guys can see this. Of course, again, this is this in par. The in par probe is scratched up from from tornadoes. But what we've done is we've we've put a, another pressure port, if you will, on it. And um, this particular pressure port, as I said, is gonna is gonna be able to to uh, let air in. Um, if you want to call it that, uh, I think we'll reach equilibrium on the pressure quicker this way. Well, we've got our trusty, dusty, kind of ratty JB Weld here we're going to be using. We've got the pin in the in par, but, but, and it's held tight, but we're going to put some JB Weld on it, on the inside of it, obviously, so it holds tight, stays steady. And then we'll just kind of go from there. So we um, we got the pressure port in, um, and and right now what we've got is we've got some some basic uh, JB weld on it, and then siliconed a little bit on the outside, just in case for rain. You know there is going to get some moisture in there, but we'll tube it up eventually. So there's what she looks like. Of course, you guys can see all my pressure tubing here, uh, straight back to the end par itself. This is the end par, but, but ultimately our split for each pressure port to the end par. This is our acoustics. Of course, we'll have our computer um, and, and then data logger, of course, and then pressure switch, humidity, dew point temperature, blah, blah, blah. All that's going to be logged separately. Uh, independently of the acoustics so that there's no confusion whatsoever of course Randy Cyclops will be substantially different obviously we'll have the data logger mounted in in his uh, the data logger and computer and then of course his pressure switch which he will have pressure temperature humidity and altimeter um, is what Randy will have in Cyclops that's kind of where we're at now. So, just so you guys know, all of this is done uh, by you guys and certainly by us. This is a privately funded scientific project. It, it certainly, uh, we're not, we don't have the, the ability uh, to, to, to go out and get government grants like some, um, some uh, and, and taxpayer dollars. Um, you know, so we build our own uh, 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 equipment um, right down to the right down to the, the the wiring on the breadboard. I do all that. Pat does part of the coating. I do some of the coating. The majority of the coating Pat does. He's kind of picked that up. Bless his heart. Thank you. But um, um, and then Randy and I will kind of shell out, try to get the probes out with Lisa. That's and Chris Rice. That's kind of what we're doing now. As far as um, uh, meteorology side of it, of course we all have that. Uh, we all have the ability, but but David Moran is our lead meteorologist. <clears throat> Conversely, David is he's got a, a bachelor of science in mathematics and a bachelor of science in atmospheric sciences. So as you guys can imagine, David's super smart, very good friend of mine, and David knows code as well, but. But but David's trying to take part of what we're doing and 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 help us so we get the data. Hopefully we get the data and we've already got it. You guys haven't seen some of that. We get the data. Hopefully we'll be able to graph it, get it off to David, 
uh, even even Pat and get it off to David, and then we start writing the paper. Currently, we're still writing the paper on on the uh, the, the, the Bennington Chapman event, but the L, uh, but 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 the paper, and and conversely the El Reno paper, but conversely, uh, that's the goal here, and that's why we need your help. That's what we're trying to do. So this probe, my end part, just so you guys know, one more time, we have three probes. We have the Cyclops. Uh, that's Randy's. That's his baby. It's got a 360 camera in it. You guys can certainly look. Then, then we've got the 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 5.0 probe. It's got 360 cameras, five 360. I'm sorry, five GoPros around it. One on top, four around. Of course, this <clears throat> this one's got the 360 camera on it, as well as all the electronics. Then you also have. Cyclops, which has a 360 probe on it as well, uh, kind of down in it. So if we had one more probe to set out accordingly a little further, the way we set them out is about every 20, 30, 40 yards, 50 yards, whatever it is, and a tornado, we, we, we want that tornado to pass directly over one of these, but, but you know between them as well, if that makes sense, so we can cross-reference. Now, as an engineer... I'm building. I'm writing code. I'm I'm the one building this. So, uh, Randy's the he's the fabricator. He fabricated all the probes, and a wonderful welder and fabricator he is. So that's a little bit about us. A little about what what we're doing. And and, and you you just saw me put some some um, some uh, some stuff on the on the actual on the actual computer, and and then now we're slowly trying to get everything ready. So it's going to take a little while. But we're getting ready for storm season. We're trying. Hang with us, guys. We're trying to get the data. And then the peer review process happens via David Moran and I. David is going to help us immensely. So smart, wonderful guy. There's a backstory behind David. David has a, a cerebral palsy. And what a wonderful guy he is. For a guy who has that condition to go and get a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and a Bachelor of Science in Meteorology and Atmospheric Sciences, he's an unbelievably good friend of mine. And, and, and we value him. We value everybody. So that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Hope you guys enjoyed it thus far. I've got a lot of work to do. Stay tuned. And guys, again, you know, I don't want to beg. That's not what we're trying to do. We don't want to go a gun, a, a go fund me and all that other crap. It's you guys. This right here is privately. We, man, I'm shelling out money left and right. Randy is, Lisa is. You know, we're we're in the hole already. So it's it's funding from you guys. It's almost public funding from you guys that help us do this. So I would ask that you really reconsider the donate button is on the website www.pacratex. Dot org, and that's common spelling, Pacratex, Pacratex.org. Uh, 